and welcome back everyone to what's going to be the first gameplay video of this new series of games lost of the ages i'm blitz your host from manacene as always it's great to have you with us we are going to be playing soldiers of anarchy so if you watch my introduction video we saw the backstory to the game if you just want to see what the gameplay is like well you came to the right place so let's get this game rolling um, we're gonna do a new campaign. I'm gonna play it on normal, because this game's actually challenging enough as it is. Um, and I want to be able to get through it. So, essentially what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna play through every path in this game. So I'm gonna have like some, I'm gonna have like a main path that I'm gonna do. And then I'll do like side videos saying like, if you chose the other side, this is what would happen, blah 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 blah. Try not to spoil anything else. Um, here we go, yeah. Normal difficulty, I think, should be suitable for this gameplay. There's going to be a lot of trial and error when you play this game. Okay, we're out. What's the air like out there? Well, we're still breathing. The air kind of reminds me of when I was a kid. And it's all quiet, except for the wind. Let's hope it stays that idyllic. First, go to the small command post. Then go to the dam and blow the thing up. Otherwise, we're never going to get out of this valley. First the command post, then the dam. Okay? We're on it. So, one thing you'll see is that the voice acting in this game is not authentic at all, right? Like, the... Essentially, they have... Well, they have the base commander voice, and then they got the male voice and the female voice, and they're all very American, even though this game is actually technically set in Russia and there's not like a single Russian accent that I remember playing this game so you'll just have to bear with it it's it is what it is I mean mainly you want to play oh here we go um, this is another quirky thing about this game is that yeah the pathfinding sometimes a little bizarre this is why I said this game is gonna have a lot of trial and error so you can make save states whenever you want um, and I will be doing that a lot. And if things go poorly, especially if it's no fault of my own, we're gonna be pretending like that did never happen. Um, so I'm sorry if you're looking for like a expert, professional, you know, amazing playthrough where I play on the hardest difficulty and... Base, we found life. What is it? A bear, I think. At least it looks like a regular bear. A bear? Well, be careful. Who knows, things could have mutated. The plants and animals around here don't necessarily look and behave the same as we're used to. Well, this one sure looks like a bear. It doesn't look at all friendly. Well, if he gives you any trouble, just shoot him. Then secure the command post. We might just have to do that. Anyway, as I was saying, basically I'm just going to be doing a lot of you know, save states and such, just trying to get through this game, having fun with it though, that's how I play games like this, so, just a heads up. Alright. Oh boy, here he comes. Shoot him, boys. Shoot him, girls. Woo! Don't want to get hit, attacked by that, because that would have done some decent amount of damage. Alright, um, so one thing you don't want to do in this game is you don't want to reload early because it will actually use up the full ammo box if you do that, if I'm remembering correctly. It's been a while since I played this game to be honest, but... There you go, we got some Uzis now. Alright, um, I usually give them to my more experienced men. We've got Second Lieutenant Reeves and um, Master Sergeant Irkovich. I don't don't really know how to pronounce the names to be honest. But um alright, here we go. So you can trade ammunition and I, you can trade items between people by doing like drag and drop and it goes to the person. Here you go, have some ammo, buddy. So, that's kind of a cool thing about this game. Every character's got an inventory. 
and so it's almost like kind of got like a role-playing game type of feel because of that in a sense um, every character's got a name although it does not really at base there's like some backstory on the main like squad members but like the other people you get they don't have backstory unfortunately so it is what it is um yeah so probably you know give Serana some there we go um so skills so another thing is so this guy he's good with small arms which early game is going to be big so he's good with anything that basically fires nine mil um, he doesn't have a skill yet. He will later, though. Um, he's an explosive specialist, so he's good with the, the TNT and later mines. And then, of course, medic. So, yeah, it's very much like a role-playing game, actually. You can also... So, right now it's on follow mode camera. But you can... Um, by default, it's the space bar. You can kind of... I can move the camera around here a bit, and we can look and see what's around here. This looks like something interesting, like a little destroyed jeep. Oh, lovely. Is that what I thought that was? Yeah, it's like a little skeleton. Alright, so yeah. So you can kind of play the game in, multi in a multitude of ways. So... This is good for kind of like scoping up what we're looking for. I think we have to get over there eventually. Um, this game very much encourages you to take your time to go explore. I think if you go over here, it is like a little mine, but I don't think there's actually anything there except like some bears, so you don't want to go that way. Um, I think we're definitely on the right track going this way. What is that, deer? Or those wolves? Oh, those are wolves. All right, they're not going to be too amused about us. They're ravenous and they're hungry. We're going to go on the offensive. Or defensive, actually. Acting boys. All right. Oh, that sounds so sad. Well, it's either them or us in this wilderness land of survival. Only the fittest survive. I don't know, I got nothing. My voice acting's clearly not much better than this game's. That is a lot of wolves. Alright. There's a couple of wolves hanging around the jeep. Yes, and? Yes, and there are living creatures out here. But I want to find out if there's anything we can use in that jeep. Alright, you can give different, like, defensive orders. You got attack mode. Um... Um, aggressive mode, I think, would probably be best because they're about to get swarmed by a bunch of wolves. Oh boy, here they come. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh. Oh, we took some damage. Alright, well. Tried. Alright, since you took the hit, why don't you have the honor of opening up that box? And? What about the Jeep? There's a crate of M60 ammunition next to it. The Jeep itself is scrap. Understood. We also found the Jeep's driver. Really? Is he okay? Sure. If you consider being a pile of bones, okay. I see. Oh wait, there's a mailbag next to him. But the letters have all rotted. Probably been here for years. Too bad. Well, keep your eyes peeled. Base commander in this game is actually a little bit sassy. <laughs> I think that's one thing that, I, if I remember correctly, 
It's interesting. The comms in this game, so like early game, there's a lot of like comms going on because they're trying to like introduce the feel of the story and everything. But later game, it's actually like not as much, I think. Alright, the injured soldier shouldn't be leading the front, the charge, but oh well. You'll eventually you get more troops than just four. This isn't like, you know, Final Fantasy. Or you got your team of four, you know, get that, that warrior, black belt, white and dark mage. Yeah, you, you'll have more characters and later on even vehicles and such. Just for now, you know, trudging along with what we have. Everyone's doing good on the ammo. Might want to pass that off since he's about to reload soon. You can also go into different stances for stealth, so if you're like kneeling or proning out, you'll be able to avoid detection a little bit easier. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to stealth our way into here without getting spotted. So I'm not too concerned, I'm not particularly concerned about that right now because this is just animals, but Later on, it'll be really important. You'll even see in this mission, you'll want to make sure that you're not getting spotted by bad guys, or you might be finding yourself reloading a previous save. Actually, why not, you know, just in case, let me just do that real quick. Oh, I have a lot of saves in this. This is probably from like way back in the day, to be honest. Um, ooh, okay. Excuse me, sorry. Um, let me think. Uh, what do I want to do about this? I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to overwrite this. Yeah, and then late after this video, I'm going to go ahead and delete the rest of those. Alright. Um, here we go. Let's see if we can avoid these... These wild dogs. They don't. Oh no 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 no. Nope. Okay. Never mind. New plan. Just shoot them all. All right. Trying to save your bullets a little bit. Oh man. Yeah. Like I said, right now it's just the animals, but later on it's gonna be meaningful. Alright, here's what we're going to actually do. We're going to have you... Went through all his bullets, shooting up the dogs. Uh, I probably should have just kept the pistols equipped. But you know what? Later in the game, you're going to get a lot of ammunition anyway. So... Have them kind of like sneak in. And then we're going to go wipe out the last one here. There we go. That was close, you almost took some damage there. Alright. Always, again, always look around to make sure that there's like nine boxes you're missing, or something like that. He's got some bullets back in another first aid. Actually got a couple first aids there. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and hand that off to him. Be like our designated ammo holder. Something like, something like that. Now let's give these to her.
All right, everybody getting it. Now this is a cool feature. I mean, back in you know, back in the day where a lot of like games like this just had like little sprites for characters. This game actually has like 3D modeling, so like they're actually gonna all get into the you know like act they actually get like open and closed door animations. That's really cool. We found a vehicle, a Hummer. It looks to be intact, too. There's even an old pair of shades behind the rearview mirror. This thing's got a nice machine gun on it. No ammunition, though. Actually, if you're lucky, it might still run. I hope so. I'm not crazy about all this walking. You might not be able to tell from looking at me, but after ten years in that bunker prison, I'm not exactly ready to run a marathon. You're just getting old. But thanks a lot. Look, just worry about that dam. Just getting old. Wow. That's harsh, dude. Alright. So actually, we do, in fact, have ammunition for the Humvee. I'm not going to actually put it on just yet, though, because I don't want them to inadvertently use up our goods. Alright. So here we go. We're going to... We're going to go ahead and blow up this dam... And, uh, I'm gonna... We're in front of the dam now. It's a whopper. I'd forgotten it was so huge. Hope there's enough explosives. Trust me, there's enough. Any idea what's winning for us behind that dam? Probably nothing. You know that once we've blown this baby up, we can't just put it back again like a cork in a bottle. What choice do you have? Spend the rest of your life in this valley with the wolves and bears? All right, all right. Let's get to work. I'm going to give ourselves, since this game's got some pathfinding annoyances, I'm going to make sure I give myself, say, we're going to set this for like a full minute. It's probably excessive, but um, I don't want anything stupid happening. Don't press that green check mark, whatever you do. Oh, fine, I'll give it 45 seconds. Go. You're on the clock. Go, 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 come on. Alright, now, I'm warning you right now, the the beeper is really loud on that explosive, I'm not even kidding. So, like, when it gets down to, like, five seconds, you might want to, like, turn your volume down, or, I, like, I'm not even kidding, seriously, it's going to be really loud. Chilling out, ignore those wolves, here we go. Told ya. Base, the explosives worked. We can get out. It was loud enough to wake the dead. And that massive cloud of dust must be visible for miles. If there are any survivors around here, they sure know about us now. Understood. Our primary objective is to make contact with other humans. That is, if anyone survived. We need some information on the last ten years. But be careful. We don't know what's waiting for you out there. I want to see you back here in one piece. We'll be careful. I don't feel like taking a dirt nap on my first day of freedom. We'll report back as soon as we get any news. All right. I think this is a good place to call it, actually, for this episode. So that was like the little introduction. I'm going to cut it right here, take a brief, brief little break, and I will be back. See you in the next episode. Take care.